Hey champ, welcome back to Prosperity Tutoring. Today we're diving into some awesome math concepts that'll help you shine in your classes. We're gonna break it down step by step and make it super easy to understand. So grab a paper, a pencil, and a calculator, and let's get started. So let's say for example, someone is selling a house and they're selling it for $100,000. And they want a 10% down payment, right? So now you wanna crunch it in your calculator. So you're gonna say, you're gonna say well, how do I uh, find 10% of $100,000, right? 10% by the 100. So I'm going to, in order for me to put that 10% in my calculator, I can put $100,000 in my calculator, but I can't put 10% in my calculator. I need to change it to a decimal. So I can either uh, divide it by 100 or move the decimal back two spaces, right? And now it becomes 0.10 or 0.1. You really don't need to write the zero at that point, right? And then I'm going to multiply it by the 100,000. So now, depending on what grade you're in, you can type in the whole 100,000, or to be short, you can just write, uh, 100k or if you're putting it in your calculator you can just uh, multiply it by 100 and then add the three zeros in on your paper so just for instructional purposes I'm gonna write the three zeros at the end after the comma and that ought to give me 10,000 what if I wanted to invest two thousand three hundred and forty five dollars with a seven percent interest rate per year or in other words annual interest right I would have to take turn that seven percent into a decimal bring the decimal two spaces backwards and it would now become 0 0.07 and I would just multiply it and I would just multiply it by 2,345. And that would give me $164.15. So by the end of the year, I would make $164, excuse me, and 15 cents annual interest. <laughs> what if I was playing basketball and I shot, I made, uh, I, I attempted 63 shots, but I only made 24 and I'm trying to figure out my field goal percentage. Well, once again, use the pizza pie method. The shots, the shot attempts, look at it as the entire pizza pie, right? And then out of that pizza pie, look at the shots made, right? So these are my attempts and these are my, and the red slice is my makes, right? So the way I figure out my field goal percentage, what I like to use, I like to say you divide the slice by the pie. So in this instance, the slice would be the 24 shots that I made, and the pie would be the 63 shots that I attempted. And so when we put it in our calculator, all we do is type in 24 divided by 63, and that will give us 0.38. Now, what is 0.38 as a percent? Remember, we're changing a decimal to a percent, so we multiply by 100, or we can move the decimal two spaces forward, and that gives us 38%. Now this situation I want you to pay close attention to because it's gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna to have to solve things backwards now. We're gonna to have to do a little bit of algebra. So let's say I made $234, right? $234. And that $234 is only 7% of my goal. So remember, we're gonna do a little bit of algebra. So that's 234, so we got $234 and, we, and it is 7%, what's 7% as a decimal? Remember, we move the decimal two spaces, we move the imaginary decimal two spaces backwards and then we put an imaginary zero. So it becomes 0 0.07, right? And then the goal is X, X. So originally we, we would multiply the decimal or the percent by the, by the whole in order to find out, we would multiply the decimal or the percent by the pie in order to figure out the slice. In this particular scenario, we don't know what the pie is. We know what the slice is, we know what the percent is, but we don't necessarily know what the pie is. So instead of multiplying the percent by the pie, we're gonna go backwards and divide the percent by the slice. So in our calculator, we're gonna take that $234 and this time we're gonna divide it by 7% or 0 0.07. And this is, and this is gonna tell us how much our goal should be. So it tells us our goal was $3,385 and rounded up to 71 cents. So remember, we had to solve it backwards. There's a little bit of a switcheroo. We had to solve it backwards. And so we took, instead of multiplying the percent by the pie in order to figure out the slice, we divided the slice by the percent in order to figure out the pie. <laughs> That's a wrap, champ. Hope you got something out of it. Keep practicing, ask questions, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Failure is education. Success is graduation. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like. If you know someone who could use this video, share it with them. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's something you'd like to cover next. If you'd like a virtual tutoring session, 
Scan the QR code above or visit prosperunlimited.com slash tutoring. Become a member of the Bard Society, the book club of Prosperity ULLC. Our stories come alive with wealth, inspiration and positivity. The mission of Prosperity ULLC. Explore our vast categories like self-help, dating, romance murder mystery and sci-fi action thrillers. Visit prosperunlimited.com and click on books. Become a member. Become prosperity. Join Kev Prosper as he beats up the bad guys, slays the dragon, and saves the princess. Prosperity Gaining is the new channel of Prosperity ULLC. Watch, follow, subscribe to Prosperity Gaming with Kev Prosper. Be sure to shop Amazon with Prosperity ULLC. Link in the description. Do that freaky shit I'm on the beat. Shitty with that butter, shit that that bone feet. Did you tippy, did you double juice that that bone thing? Freaky freaky with some butter, sit that that bone thing. If you cheeky chatter, chuck I get her own cheese. If you chicken with that head, I'll get some that bone thing with the official with that with that whole skis. Let these hitties have the wish that with that long. I got racks, racks, racks at ATM jam. Tell me what you wanna do. I got racks, racks, racks at ATM jam. Tell me what you wanna do. You a badass bitch, a badass bitch. I don't get swallowed in that badass bitch. I got racks, racks, racks at ATM jam. Tell me what you wanna do. I got racks, racks, racks.